New tonight, the family of Little Rock native and well-known basketball player speaking out after he died this past weekend. His death was sudden, and now people are paying tribute to him. Alexis Wainwright talked with his loved ones this evening. She's joining us now with more on his story. Alexis. Well, Bob, it's a heartbreaking story. The family and friends I talked to say 28-year-old Raheem Dickerson's talent and smile lit up any room that he walked in. And although he's gone, they hope that everyone will continue to remember his inspiring and loving legacy. You know, Raheem was, he was an amazing man. Um, he was loved and cared by, you know, by, by so many people in this community because of the type of man he was and how he inspired people, you know, with his positivity and his attitude. Loved ones sharing words to describe Raheem Dickerson and his impact in the Little Rock community. And he led so many people and we're getting so much love just saying how he impacted their lives in that small amount of time that, we, that he was here. Dickerson played basketball for Arkansas State and was well known in the Little Rock basketball scene. The three things he loved most was God, basketball, and family, and those three things loved him back. Like he was a mentor to so many youth in the community. Like his one of his goals was to, you know, have his own basketball team to coach. So we were fortunate enough to have a team that we coached last year together. After college, Dickerson kept his hoop dreams alive. He crossed his way over from central Missouri to Tuscaloosa and even played semi-pro in Africa. He conquered so many challenges in life. You know, he was a king truly. And there's so many people that look up to him, and there's so many family members that love him and care for him. He passed away on Sunday. His family says he had a heart attack after trying out for the Little Rock Lightning League. On Facebook, the team says he earned a spot on the roster, and they'll be honoring him next season. You know, it's truly been a tragedy what's happened, but at the same time, you know, he's a man who would want us to celebrate and want us to be strong through these times. Now, there will be a balloon release, according to the family, this weekend. His funeral services will be Monday. They're asking everyone to wear white because he loved his icy white. For more information on how to donate for the GoFundMe, you can log on to our website. That's krk.com. Back to you guys. Alexis, thanks very much. We'll